welcome to the fifth session uh, and this will be moving ahead with the other details to be framed here so far we have just uh, added the index page and then team performance summary page and a card here which say uh, which shows us the total matches so uh, we used a few dax here to calculate this if anyone has got better uh, ideas or better options how to do this how to calculate this then you can please comment me or, or, or let me know if there's more easy way to, to do, do this so uh, now we will be calculating the total goals total goals means how how much home team has scored goals and how much away team has scored goal let me just open the data set and just explain you before that it opens let me just add a what we can do we can just copy the dax which we had created here okay it will be similar uh, done so I'll just copy it and i'll explain it so everything will be the same nothing will be different so just right click on any of the columns and new measure stuck it's taking time so new measure we have i will just paste it here and then yeah total match instead of total matches we will have in total goal okay and same will be done here total uh, first you can say this one as um, total home goal home goal okay and then we can change this to data home Mm, full time okay it's uh, full time home goal and this will be complete so as i already have explained in the last session that how we can calculate this if i show you the data here then the goals are this is the complete data so the, the full time goal after the complete computer of the match is this in two columns how much home team has scored goals and how much away team has scored goals so we to sum this both and we also know that there is a, a, a only one active relationship between home uh, away team go uh, away team and the team uh, which we have here uh, which is used in this slicer so in this slicer so we can just full-time goal and then we, I can just add here, uh, you can say total uh, home team goal. Okay, fired. Okay, it should filter teams, home team count. And here, so I can add full time, full time uh, away goal. Full time away goal. So instead of this uh, count a we will be having some here because it's a integer if you see this is an integer so we need to have some here and also we need to do a sum at this point and here as well i think this is done so let me just explain you first that why I'm doing this instead of having just the normal sum. 
and what it is doing actually. So, so if we go to the model view, we can see here that currently we have only one active landship. Okay, so there is there is a teams teams folder and there is a teams column. Okay, all in this contain all the unique um, teams name and there is a data table or query you can say. So if, when we see there is a one only one active landship that is we that is with teams and away team column. Okay, you can see your teams and here you can see away team and there is an inactive inactive landship with teams and home team okay so what if we do a general sum and and we apply a slicer then what the what we will get is the sum of always home team goals sorry away team goals okay and the home team goals will be uh, will be um, not taken in in consideration uh, if we see, see the data that if we there's a home team goal and the away team goals, you can see so the, there is there's a relationship between away team so it, it will only take the uh, full time away team goals will be only counted let me just show you practically So here, uh, let's remove this and total goals here as well. Let me add another measure, which does simple sum of the both the columns. Okay, why is the error? Total goals. Total goals, total home goals. Okay, calculate some full time home goal. Okay, fine. Teams, teams return is filtered. Teams total home, total home goal plus sum of full time. Okay, okay, this is a mistake. Full time. Hmm. Okay, good. I think this should work. Yeah. So okay, now again we need to add a measure to show you that if we do a simple sum between two columns, if we add these two columns, these two columns, then what result we will be getting instead of using my method. So let's go here. In data view and add a new column. New column. It's coming up. Total goals column. Okay. So if I do full time away goal plus full time home goal. Fine. And let's close this. We have a we will we have have a column at the end. You can see it's giving us the number of results that how much was in the total uh, goals were scored in a match. Yeah, so I think it's fine. Let's come there 
and in this let me add that column value total goals column okay change this as well header as well so the header will be title okay and here as well so let me just change it So we have both. You can see there's a there's a quite big difference coming up. And now if I select the total is, is also not correct. So if I so in this one is total goals column. Okay, fine. If I go to the arsenal and if a filter for the arsenal or any other team. Then you can see there is a lot of difference between this. So this is uh, the difference is coming because uh, due to the uh, relationship which we have in the model view that we only have an one active relationship that is with away team. So it's only taking consideration of away team this second uh, second column. Okay, and I think. And 702, let me just see that 702 Arsenal has code or not. So if I filter here in data, home team first with Arsenal, then I'm getting how, okay, full time, that's home team, right? So we have 392, 392, 392, okay, let's remove this. And if I apply a formula on the away team, same as Arsenal. And if I find here that three, three, one, zero, if I submit both, then it's going seven, zero, two. Okay. You can see seven, zero, two. So what method I had applied, I have applied is uh, showing us correct. And instead of having just the sum of the two columns, it's because due to the, due to the uh, inactive relationship, it's not taking in consideration the uh, home team goals. That's why we cannot use this method that just adding up the two columns. Okay, so if I go here and check the first formula, I think the total is not showing me correct. I assume it because there's not that much of the data. 4287. Let us let us sum this entire and check how much it is. 5691. 5691. And in this we have total of 4287. 4287. Maybe some is there is something 9978. Okay, so the total is it's giving us correct, but we need total correct here as well. Hmm. So there's a mistake. It's filtered home team goal. Okay. Sum this. Okay. I got it. Now I just need to paste this. Yeah. And just apply it. Now the sum will be correct. So for the timing of calculation, I want the inact inactive uh, relationship to to be active. So I'm using this this function use use relationship. That's why it will give me the count of uh, of both the uh, columns: full time home goals and full time away goals. Okay, so th this is used for that purpose to make any inactive relationship active. So we have got the total goals uh, data. Now we'll be adding move on a card to show the a number of red cards, how, how much red cards has been issued to each team. Okay, 
so again this i will just copy this formula this measure and i will add it new measure and we can move ahead Hmm. and this is total red card okay total home home red you can say and here we will be adding a data and that will be your home team red card yes same let me just copy this and if i come here i just need to uh, have and in place of this we need to have the correct one that is in the above we have how variable as total home team red and here also we need to have the same home team red total home team red and then the sum of this and then one more bracket okay i think that's the mistake here <clears throat> total home home team red card then sum of home team red card okay okay this should be home, not home team red card this should be away team red card we team red card yes here as well so we need to have a we team red card yeah i think it's giving us an error okay some Add it once again. We just need to just have this. Comma, paste it here. And just close the, yeah, it is working now. So same was the concept applied here as well, which we have done in the total matches and in the total goals okay because if we check uh, there is two columns for the red card as well if i show you the red card yes you can see home team red card there is two columns so this is how it it is done home team red card and there is away team red card so the same concept applies here as well that we need to have that inactive relationship to active so if i total red card just add it here oh, i need to remove first and then total red card it's fine 541 and in this let me convert this to an integer And then we have the red card numbers now finally we will be finding the number of yellow cards issued and then the most number of referred matches here so let me change this general title okay now let's move ahead and do it for the yellow cards issued okay nothing different 
same concept and let me just copy the tax insert a new measure Right, okay, home team yellow. Fine, here also we just need to have the sum of okay, and then coming to the down one, we also we need to have this as yellow. Uh, sum of the fine and we'll just copy this entire thing and paste it again so i hope you you are clear with the if and the is filtered we are we are just doing it to when to make the uh, slicer work so we have used this is filter when the slicer is active then it should do the sum of this two and if it's not then also it's true it should do this okay let's see it under and we'll be having a copy of this yellow card and then we'll replace the tax or the measure which we have applied Okay, so let me paste it here and this here. Uh, this. this gap, even gap. This one. Then we can have this one. Okay, yeah. So red card in place of red card, we need to just have the yellow cards here. And yellow card, we have the calculation. Okay, and we now let me just show you the formatting. We need we, we don't need it in 12k, so we need this in, in total number. So it should say so for that we need to change the from title effect. Uh, in not in effect, uh, okay, shadow title effect in the visual. I should uh, okay, call out value. You can see it's auto here. So instead of auto, we will be having none. Then none, it will just show us in figures, in the total numbers. So in now in this, let me apply the comma. So yeah, just it's a proper number. Place number. Okay. So if you want to change any any in millions in number, or if I want to show this in other uh, things that uh, how much billion it will be, trillion it will be, in, in thousands. So you can show it here. So we have the number of. Okay. Let's change. Need to change this that red header as well so title so it's of red yeah. oh. yellow mm. yellow parts okay now the final one is that how uh, that how many um, which is the most experienced referee okay so we will be finding the who is the most experienced referee 
so what we can do let me just first of all add change the change the uh, title that um, you can tell as most xper I think, yeah. So we have here most experienced referee. So how we can get this visual? So remove the, um, and the oh I think I did some mistake. Okay, accidentally I clicked on this line chart. So instead of that, I need to have the card again. And I just need to remove this and add the referee. Okay, add the referee. So you can see it has automatically automatically taken first referee. Okay. So if I select the drop down here, if you add any name, then there is some some aggregations um, which it takes automatically first, last, last means list as well as count. Okay. So if you want distinct counts, mean how many referees were there, then also we can get here count means how many uh, referees were used so if so you can see uh, create clearly that a it's too much too big so let me just expand this it needs to be some bit bigger okay and the value should be effect not the effect uh, equal value Let's make small for this, not that big. But we can see the name at least. Complete name. Okay, I think. <clears throat> Let me rearrange this. What is the width of this one? Generally, if we see, it is it is a ninety five and two two four. So I need to have the size as two two. Let's make it two two five. Two five. This as well. Same goes for this. <clears throat> so, hmm. yeah it's fine so <clears throat> a medal a medal i think it's giving me the so this uh, most expensive referee is not coming correct. Uh, so we need to figure out something. So for the timing, let's remove this and we will get back to the here. Yeah. And hope uh, whatever we did today is clear and, and understandable. In the next session, we will be having a, a table here, which will have the teams, total matches and total goals they have scored, how much matches they have played and and how much goals have scored then accordingly we'll have the best top 10 uh, strong home teams which has um, won in home uh, conditions and then we'll have tom uh, top 10 strongest visitors okay and so on so let's conclude this session here and see you in the next one take care